We made it last night to White River Campground. Yay us. The backpacker campsites are behind this historic ranger cabin, which is at loop D. Here's a look at the other side. And then just back behind it, we got a bear box and three little backpacker campsites. This is Wonderland Trail day five. We're starting our day at the White River Campground and we're gonna be hiking to Dick's Creek. So we have a 15.8 mile day, over 4,000 feet of elevation gain. And we go up above 6,700 feet. So we're expecting some snow. Yesterday was wild. It was so incredibly beautiful. It was a big day though. We ended up doing 21.3 miles from Maple Creek to White River Campground. We hit like four or five miles of pretty deep snow. We had to just follow like the boot tracks through the snow. I mean, we also have far out so we can make sure that we were at least like near the real trail, but it was wild and it was so cold. By the time we got to the top of our climb in the snow, like the wind was coming in like crazy. It was a wild time. This trail has been quite an adventure. It's, <laughs> I feel like we've gotten everything. Tons of rain, snow, <laughs> like a little bit of sun here and there. No, I'm just kidding. We've, the last couple of days have been really nice. There's been a lot of sun. Um, some dangerous crossings because of, you know, washouts. It's just been a wild time, but I'm having a blast. I am loving this trail. I'm glad I don't have to do 21 miles today. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what today brings. I'm excited. I just, I'm feeling like a really good version of myself out here. I, I really, really like it out here. So hopefully I still feel that way after today. I'm sure I will. I'm just kidding. Oh, and by the way, we had changed our itinerary, which is why we had such a big day because we didn't want to stay at Summerland because that's a high elevation campsite. And that was the right move because as we passed by Summerland yesterday, it was like, it was basically at the end of our snowy four to five miles. And there still was quite a bit of snow and it was really cold up there. I'm really, really glad that we didn't sleep up there, especially because down here at White River, which is much lower elevation, I was still chilly last night actually. So it was a really good decision and that 21 mile day was for sure worth it. I will say though, if you're doing this in the middle of summer and maybe it's less cold, Summerland looks like it'd be a nice place to stay, but Indian Bar was the real star. Like what a beautiful campground. Definitely, if I was coming in the middle of summer and the weather forecast was a little bit warmer, I'd want to stay there. It was just absolutely stunning. Oh, and I also wanted to say I'm proud of us because on a day where we had over 21 miles and over 6,600 feet of elevation gain, we still managed to get to camp in under 12 hours. Hooray. And like all that snow. All right, day number five, let's go back on the trail just after 10 a.m. These mornings have been frigid. So it's a real treat to be able to stay in our sleeping bags for a little bit of extra time. Oh, by the way, we had White River Campground to ourselves last night. I was worried about uh, coming in after dark and disturbing people but turns out there was nobody else there. It's crazy. This is late fall, honestly, aside from it being chilly. It seems like a great time to do this hike because there's like nobody else out here. I mean, maybe that's just because of the crazy rains earlier in the week, but like you have to get permits for this trail. They're really competitive and I've heard it's usually a busy trail. Not this week. We've had so much of it to ourselves, it's been crazy. Nothing like a four mile climb uphill to wake you up in the morning, even if it is late morning.
Ooh, this looks like lion's mane. Anybody out there know if it is? Looks old, otherwise I want to eat it. These views. First snow patches of the day. I think there's more to come. Up, up, up. It's getting snowy and icy up here. Well, this is beautiful. This is Sunrise Camp. We just saw a really beautiful fox here. It was like black with some white accents. I wasn't able to get it on video. I'm disappointed about that. But oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. There's snow at the group camp for Sunrise Camp. Yuck. Those mountains out there are so pretty. Looks like there's a ridge going across that mountain up there. That's probably where we're going. There's a lot of people up there. It is Sunday, but I'm curious where these people hike to. What's the destination? Looking back behind, what a view. Must be a popular day hiking spot. Moss tried to say there wasn't going to be any snow, but I never believed her. Can I just say that I freaking love this trail. I love it. I love everything about it. This trail is amazing. to Granite Creek. This is where we were supposed to be staying, but we're not anymore. Moving onward. Back in this gorgeous, gorgeous forest. Oh man, some of these descents are rough on the old knees. They're steep. That's a lot of rock over there.
what happened here? Lots of dead trees. And here is Mystic Camp. Wow, so pretty. Just got my Wonderland Trail permit checked for the first time. So I guess it's a good thing that we legally changed our itinerary. Because <laughs> uh, we are going to the correct campsite that is on our official permit today. Which you should always do. But alas. <laughs> So many wild huckleberry plants, but no huckleberries. We miss them. Last climb for the day, and I am ready for the climbing to be over. Ow, ow, look at those views. Oh my gosh. This is interesting. I wonder what's with these huge piles of rocks. Look at that, made it to camp before dark. <laughs> <laughs>